In the wake of the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man killed in police custody in Minneapolis, the Black Lives Matter movement has been gaining attention globally. The mix of young men and women in the Queen's Park Savannah held placards denouncing racism, bended on one knee, and letting their voices be heard. ISUPK. We need to fix black households. You understand? We need to get men back into households and let men lead as leaders. Teach their daughters how a woman is supposed to be treated. Teach their sons how to treat a woman. All these things. We have to, we have to start at the base level. At the die to meet the devil. Angels fell and landed in the ghetto. The earth was given to the hands of devils. Then we seen the rise of the devil. We fell for the lies of the devil. When we got high, was the devil. I looked into the eyes of the devil. I ain't at the die to meet the devil. I remember I was only 13 when I met the demon. Gave me a deuce deuce and a bundle of cocaine. Told me to sell to my people, make sure you keep them feeling. If any try to show you, make sure that you leave them leaking. He said, I'ma hold you down when problems pop up. How you got me moving this dope? Want me in lock up? He said, Don't you want the best vertebra with the top cup? Yeah. Stop bitching. Get in the kitchen. Please shut up. 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 Please on Saturday, one in 1969, we're from Regiment 2001 West on Jordan 25th Street, Harlem, New York. All right, the current leader of our nation is Commanding General Yahan. All right, we have different chapters all across the world. I right? see. And what we do? Yes. Yes. Access. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we teach since 1969, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians are the lost 12 child of the children of Israel. Yeah. According to this Bible, archaeology and history. So we all make that happen. You understand? And we make so with the murder of George Floyd, murder. All right, and the police in America, and the protest for it. What are your thoughts on it? I think something has to happen for someone to give. Mm -hmm. Being a Bible man, mm -hmm. as I said in the year King Uzziah died, I used for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things have to happen for persons' eyes to open. Mm -hmm. I think the death of George Floyd was one too many. Thank you. So it caused a proverbal camel back right. to be broken. We have been taking a lot, a load over the years. So it actually drove a point to that we need to start. All right. right. So let me ask you something, right? According to, the, according to the Bible, this is the Bible saying, right? That the white man is the devil or the deceiver, according to the Bible. Do you believe that the white man is the devil? Or never, the deceiver? I've never the read that part where the white man is the deceiver. But I believe that uh, any man will reveal himself to willfully deceive his brother can be seen as a deceiver regardless of the form all right when the, when the east indians came off the fact in 1845 right they helped the white man in the oppression of black people were they racist for the world? well i think we have to define what's racist because this sent the words used in a sentence could have many different connotations you know so i think what's essential for us to understand is what is racism Right? What is racism? I'm not sure what it means to you. Racism has to do with the hate of one race, the love of another. It has to do with a word called eugenics, the promotion of one race while you're most stifle the other. So that for selfish racism. So I'm not sure what the statistics were when they came off the ship. If they promoted their race much to the demise of the African race. I said those things are for us to get into. My main concern with those. The same brother. Hey, hey. That is well. Love every time. My main concern with this whole Black Lives Matter is that um, we have to be able to bring it down to a trend that sense. So, you know, unless we do that, then the whole essence of it will be lost because every continent, every country that promotes the Black Lives Matter, it means something significant to them. It's not just a sharia. So what does it mean to us in Trinidad? Have we really seen racism 
what are we fighting the black lives are what are we fighting for are we fighting oppression or is it still colonialism taking place under the guise of black politicians mm -hmm. you know so i think those issues have to be clear because it's difficult to have people to buy into our struggle when the struggle is in the years we need to own the struggle in trinidad we need to own the struggle in tobago we need to own the struggle in the caribbean but you must see something in it for us side by for me real quick just to inject it all right so us having the understanding of who our race is as a whole yeah who it pertains to and seeing even latinos and they as my brother my blood brother right yeah. came from like see my cousin from his household and seeing him getting the same treatment the same oppression the same money that's happening to him that gives me you understand the, the identity the, the ability then to identify with his people as he faces this so wherever we are on the face of the planet we definitely will be about this that's what this school is about Alright? situation here. Do you think that black people need to finally separate from all other races and build our economy to take care of ourselves? Then there can be real no separation in the world, right? The world is a large place and it's difficult for us to separate from the rest of the world. Um, but some positive taking place in Africa. I think in like the next 30 years Africa will be the largest well the, uh, the largest population of people. Maybe it's about 2.5 billion um, in the next two three years. We expected that we have 32 percent of middle income people also in Africa. So Africa is doing well. So what we have to start to do is finding out how can we strengthen the whole drive to be better model Africans because the world is still looking forward to see a model Africa, not a model slave, mm -hmm. a model African. Right. You know, so will require us to strengthen each other. Right. No. You, you were just you say you heard about our school before? The I S U P K? Not the day some another school, but the Israelites um same oh, you know, okay. Jesus with the uh, okay. black okay. Jesus. Okay. Right. But an uh, important right. fact that you just know about, right? The model African, the the only thing about us having don't have in their, uh, not having the ability to identify with who we are actually according to this Bible and according to the real history of who we are, the, the biblical Israelites. Our our, our, our tribe then to try and merge with Africa would never actually suffice or would never come to fruition because they're not these people and, they, and the important part about a deceiver is them not giving you the type of access to the actual knowledge that is about your race and your people, your history. That's why, you know, he makes sure and separate us from our language, the culture, the laws, what we're supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be caring about ourselves, what we're supposed to be taking care of each other. Right? That's where the last question came about now. Okay? Where do you think that we need us other people now to separate from the, the ideology, the, the philosophies of all these other races and begin to take care of us and formulate our economy so that we can make sure that we take care of us? And that's not the question, but my answer remains basically there can be no less separation. Is a bond. Yeah. And bonding is to convert those who have that type of uh, error in their thinking. So the whole conversion. We are strong people. Mm -hmm. We survived 400 years of brutal slavery. Mm -hmm. And then we have survived a lot. And, um, understand this. A man will only rival his enemy. Mm -hmm. And he will rival someone who believe on top of him. He will not rival someone who on top of him. And I see that I see a lot. Mm. Okay. The black man feel rival. Mm. You must understand that what the next man sees in him mm. is a lot. Mm. To make him an end. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Yeah. Now, yeah. no, just, just, just to clarify what I was saying, um, you, you see what the Israelites, we started this since 1969. We're the original people who started it. I know we told you the black yeah. man is a Judas. Amazon. Right. And But all other yeah. different people watch us, they try to follow us and try to do what we just do. But we just tell them don't do it because you all don't have the truth. Yeah. If they say Christ is black, don't and believe them. All of soldiers and things. Yes, yes. That is us, the ISUPK. Right? But there's a the difference. You know why? Right? Because, I mean, you study to become, you know, that profession of what you do. Right? Now, we as have to go through that similar training and become yeah. formidable and, and responsible in how we care about our duties. You follow me? Yeah, because yeah. this Bible is not, um, not to be taken lightly as everybody thinks yeah. they could. Right? As a doctor doesn't, a lawyer doesn't, they follow, go ahead and yeah. practice like that. But, there's a serious aspect to understanding the culture of our people and, and the error in not doing that is why we have this situation that we have today and others. Very good one.
Yes, no problem. Yeah. I like what I do. Thanks, yeah. Right. I am Officer Tazo of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. All right, I'm a commander general and I started in from West of Limited Street in New York. All right, and since 1969, I've been teaching at the so called Latinos, Latinos and Hispanics and Native Indians at the Lost Tribe of Israel, according to the Bible, History and Archaeology. All right, today we're going to do a couple of questions based upon the situation of the Floyd and other situations. Floyd is on the topic at the moment. I want some other questions, right? No problem at all. All right. What could I do? Right. The first question is: With the murder of George of George Floyd, the police in America Not and the protest for it. What are your thoughts on that? I think that's a systematic racial system that our black brothers and sisters live in in the United States of America. And I think that it will not be solved with a peaceful protest. It will not be solved with any sort of peace at any point in time. The only thing that the U.S. understands is violence. That is the only thing they understand. At some point, we are going to understand ourselves and give them what they understand. Uh, question number two, right? So do you think, do you think protesting will solve the problems in the black community? No, it will not. No, it will not, but we need, we need to start somewhere. We need to start somewhere. We, we, ha we have plenty that we need to do. We need to fix black households. You understand? We need to get men back into households and let men lead as leaders. Teach their daughters how a woman is supposed to be treated. Teach their sons how to treat a woman. All these things. We have to, we have to start at the base level. But this, we have started a movement and everything else will fall in line. But we have to see this through the day. I just saw it. Right. Since the days of slavery, mm -hmm. black people was protesting. Why has not the problem been fixed since then? Because we have not really been, we have been protesting, we have not stood up and fight. There, there is a difference. You see what we're doing here? This is protesting. When it is we decide to inflict upon our enemies the exact same thing that they have been inflicting upon us, then things will change. It's only when people feel exactly how they make others feel that they understand. Question number four, right? According to the Bible, the white man is the devil, which means the deceiver, right? He speak and never honor none of his promises, and right? none of his treaties, keep none of them, right? So according to the Bible, the white man is the devil. Do you think that the white man is the devil? I think we're as far as going anybody is the devil. I would say that white people have grew up under a sort of privilege. Well, the people that I know as white people, because I don't know the lack of their white people. But they have grown up on, on a certain amount of privilege and if they're not willing to give up that privilege then they're not standing with us so then they become our enemies if they are willing to see things change then they are not our enemies until then they are okay. question number five right do you think it is wise for black people to allow white people into their process right no 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 they, 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 could all, they could all have separate protests, they could stand nearby, but at any day, what we are seeing in the United States, white people damaging property and making black people look bad, they are dissolving our protests, making it seem smaller because they are doing things that we wouldn't do on our own. And I'm not saying that all black people are upstanding and all black people coming out for the same reasons and same purposes, but at the end of the day, we don't need outsiders. If you... If, if you feel our pain and you feel our struggle, then you can stand aside and try to help in that way. Go come and join. Right. Um, question number six, right? Do you think the East Indians in Trinidad is more racist than white people or equally racist as them? No. At all. Trinidad and Trinidad and we are a lot less racist in Trinidad and Tobago. The people within Trinidad and Tobago could be called prejudiced. We could even say that they discriminate, but they call us racist. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. Question number seven, right? When the East Indians came off the Fatara Zak in 19, I'm sorry, 1845, they helped the white man in the oppression of black people, right? Were they racist? I don't have the knowledge to be able to respond that. I don't have the knowledge to ask. Question number eight, right? Do you think it is time for black people to finally separate from all other races and build up our own country? We have, we, we have to, we have to. I'm not saying that that, that we, totally, we have to totally and completely separate. We, have, we need to support black business. We need to support black enterprise. We need to support black people, and then we 
you can maybe integrate after that but until it is we have reached that standard where we are okay then we cannot fraternize with other people who do not see our best i ain't at the die to meet the devil angels fell and landed in the ghetto the earth was given to the hands of devils and we seen the rise of the devil we fell for the lies of the devil when we got high was the devil i looked into the eyes of the devil I ain't had to die to meet the devil. I remember I was only 13 when I met the demon. Gave me a deuce deuce and a bundle of cocaine. Told me to sell to my people, make sure you keep them feeling. If any try to show you, make sure that you leave him leaking. He said, I'ma hold you down when problems pop up. How you got me moving this dope? Want me in lock up? He said, Don't you want the best vertebral with the top cup? Yeah. Stop bitching, get in that kitchen, let it rock up. Bitches love the dope boy, especially when it's pop up. I know you know why. Who the plug from by the block up? I'll tell you a little secret, make sure that you keep your mouth shut. Ron got a Lexus, crib in Philly and Texas. Trips to the Bahamas, just got a whip for his mama. He fucking up in commas, be honest, he seemed decent though. I hear you, but I just seen Ron about a week ago. In fact, he ain't looking too good. His knees is kind of slow. I asked him why the struggle, he got stuck up for his bundle. But them six hollow tips in his legs were...